Are you looking to add someone to your HubSpot portal as a new user? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do just that. Welcome to HubSpot Hacks, where we help you get more out of HubSpot. Adding a new user to your HubSpot portal is pretty straightforward, but there is two things to keep in mind, one being permissions and two default roles. So let's go ahead and dive in. When you're adding a new user, you're going to go to the little gear up in the top right, and you're going to go over to the left-hand side and click on users and teams. Now, depending on the type of HubSpot portal that you have and the levels of pro or enterprise or starter, all of those things are gonna influence what you see here on this screen. However, when you create a new user, you're going to actually have to enter an email address. So they have to have an email address, obviously. So we'll enter one here as a dummy. Once that's in, you'll click on next. And then depending on, again, the level of HubSpot you have, you're gonna get a couple of options. So if you have HubSpot Enterprise, you can actually create saved roles. If someone's in sales, they actually get access to these parts of HubSpot and these permissions. Or if you have a default role, which is something that HubSpot typically then uh, offers from, let's, let's say, just free portals, um, they've created a several job-based roles that you can lean into, or you can actually start from scratch. So to let's actually use a start from scratch example here. Each one of these tabs is going to tell you what you can get access to and what you can't. If you're trying to add a super admin, you actually would just click on this actions here and make them a super admin. Super admins can kick other people out of the system too, so be careful with this power that comes with super admin. Now you can actually then go into the CRM and say, let's say that you wanna make sure that your sales team's adding information, not seeing other people's information. You can choose that they can't delete anything or they can delete something that's owned only or they can delete nothing. And if you wanna be able to have people see um, contacts that are not assigned to anybody, this is where that unassigned comes in. So we're not gonna go through each one of these permissions here, but the most important thing to keep in mind is when you do add people to your HubSpot portal, a clean portal is actually maintained by what permissions people have or don't have. So instead of really jumping in and just giving everybody access, you wanna think about what are the implications of who I give access to, can they delete, can they view, can they edit, what does that make possible, why is it something I wanna share, and then each one of these tabs, again, gives you access to those different areas in terms of what they can see and can't see. Now you can actually turn off, as you can see here, all of the access to reports, you can turn off all the access to service, so your customer service team might be able to see contacts and service, but maybe they don't see any of the reporting. You can actually choose who can actually then um, give account access, who's actually able to grant users, just like we're talking about here. You can toggle this on, toggle this off, and then click on next. If you wanna actually go back to where we were one step here, again, this default role is something that HubSpot has determined salespeople probably need access to this. I'm gonna go back even one more and cancel out of this. And if you happen to have HubSpot Enterprise, you can create roles here, and then you can determine what um, privileges that person has. And then when you add them, you just select, this person has a sales role, this person has a marketing role, or maybe this person is a sales assistant role. Again, that will determine your properties. So that's it. That's how to add a user to HubSpot. And again, those permissions are a little tricky, but once you think about it strategically, you can add them fairly easily and move forward. For more tips, tricks, and how-tos, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next week.